Using a form control is a convenient way of presenting and entering data into a document. This allows less technical users to interact with the content of a document without being intimidated by the XML structure. Version 14.1 of the Oxygen XML editor introduces form controls as a way of entering content and attribute values while working in the author mode. This demonstration is composed of two parts. The first one highlights the usage of form controls from a user's perspective, while the second part focuses on the technical details of customizing a document to use form controls. We'll start the demonstration with a document that uses this kind of form controls. It is provided as a sample document in the Oxygen XML installation folder. As you can see, the document makes use of graphical elements similar to those used for developing web pages like background colors and images, checkboxes, input fields, and pop-up menus. The header of the document was designed to display a background image and general information about the island, population and area as text fields, currency as a combo box. Next, there is a short description of the island with anchor links to other sections of the document. Further down, there is a monthly average temperature table that also uses combo boxes. Note that this time the values inside the combo boxes are editable. The sections that present the methods of arriving on the island use a combination of combo boxes, text fields, and single selection pop up editors. The points of interest section uses many types of form controls. Let's start with the buttons controls that allow us to add or remove a point of interest. To show you how easy it is to work with the oxygen form controls, we'll add a new point of interest. First, we'll edit the title. Then we need a description and a picture of the town. We now edit the caption element and fill out the facilities section. Now moving to the right side, we choose the type of location and cost range. You can get to FIRA by boat, car and bus. To finish editing this point of interest, we'll insert the travel agency contact information. Since the availability attribute is not applicable, we'll just delete it. All in all, it only took a couple of minutes to fill the form. So far, We've seen how the form control support works from a user's perspective. Now it's time to take a look under the hood to see how you actually embed form controls in a custom document. Starting from an existing schema, we'll create an XML document to record the key features of a car. As you can see, the features like engine type, transmission type, and traction control are all attributes of the configuration element. Each attribute is restricted to some predefined values. As engine types, we can choose from petrol, diesel, and hybrid. Transmission can be either automatic or manual, and the car can also have the traction control option installed. We'll create a new XML document and associate it our XML schema. Then we need to associate it on CSS file to be able to render it in the author mode. Currently, the only way to edit the attributes of configuration element is to work with the attributes view.
Let's start adding form controls in the associated CSS file. All form controls are implemented in the OxyEditor function. Depending on the arguments passed to this function, Oxygen renders a particular form control. For example, we'll add a form control to edit the transmission type attribute. The type argument tells the function to use a comma box, while the edit argument tells it to edit the value of transmission type attribute. Now we go back to the XML and we see the newly created comma box form control. The values in the comma box list are collected from the XML schema. After you input data into a form control, press enter or click outside the edited area to merge the change with the content of your document. Only then the values set in the form control are synchronized with the values displayed in the attributes view. Now let's edit the traction control attribute. Because this attribute has two possible values, yes and no, provided by the XML schema, we can use a checkbox control. Going back to the XML document, we see the newly added checkbox form control. Now we add a single selection pop-up form control to edit the engine type attribute. Up until now, we've used form controls for editing attribute values, but we can also use them to edit the text values of an element. Let's edit the text value of the model element. Let's go back to the CSS document. We add CSS rules to create an input text box for the model element content. Then use the visibility property to tell Oxygen to hide the element content from being displayed because the form control already contains this information. Back to the XML to see the results. Now we'll rework the CSS to render the layout in a table-like format. We'll use the oxylabel function to insert text of a specified width in the left side of the form controls. Back to the XML to see the results. And this concludes our demonstration. You can find more information about form controls in the Oxygen's user manual. For more form control sample files, check the sample subfolder from the Oxygen XML installation.